Hey YouTube, it's Dan and today I wanted to chat about a project that I worked on about six months ago and it's been one of those things that's been really bugging me ever since I did it. So I was going to explain a little bit about what it is and if you are a marketer or work in the NHS or happen to be both then I really 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 want to hear from you. So about six months ago, I finished working on a project with an organisation called DPT, which stands for the Devon Partnership Trust. Now, I work with them on behalf of the marketing agency I work with called Optic Solutions. And with that project, I worked on putting together a recruitment strategy for DPT. Now, as I'm sure you've all seen in the news and been aware, the NHS is in crisis. the general publicity which they have isn't good. On top of that, there's all sorts of different reasons why people aren't applying for jobs. And in particular with DPT, they have a huge number of different vacancies available in all sorts of different things. They particularly specialise in the mental health services in Devon. So they are particularly looking for mental health nurses, mental health doctors and psychiatrists and those sorts of roles. So I sat down and did a marketing recruitment strategy for them about how they could go about trying to attract and find these candidates. The reason it's bugging me is that when I sat down to do all this research about recruitment in the NHS and recruitment particularly in mental health, what you might not realise is the NHS isn't just one big organisation, it's broken down into trusts and there's dozens and dozens of trusts up and down the country. Now although there is some sort of national organisation over the top of it, each trust, particularly with their HR and recruitment, is kind of left to get on with it. And that could be a good thing and that could be a bad thing, but in this instance I'm seeing it as a massively bad thing. The reason being is that we sat down and we did all this research about the best approach to take when it came to recruiting mental health nurses and mental health doctors. And then we saw that another trust had done something very similar. And you go, okay, great, good, that satisfied me because at least that my recommendations were, even by coincidence, someone else was doing them. So hopefully you're on the right track. But the thing is though, is that you then start to look at it and go, well, there's another campaign up in Yorkshire and there's another one down in Bournemouth and there's another one in Wales. And what it transpires is, is that all these trusts are doing their own research, doing their own marketing, but none of the recommendations or results which they're seeing from that marketing is being shared at all. And what it seems to be is, is that whether good or bad, that information just isn't being transmitted across to the other trusts, which in my mind is baffling because all these trusts are trying to save money and the fact that that information just isn't being shared. Now that could be best practices for how to run a Facebook campaign, for example, and trying to recruit psychiatrists. Or it could be the fact that another trust has done a microsite and it's failed miserably for whatever reason. And that is something which I really feel like needs to change. So I approached DPT again and a few other people which I met along the way as part of doing this recruitment project and asked them and said, is there some kind of national body, sort of organisation, networking event, forum, whatever it may be, something that communicates this information from one trust to another? And the answer that came back was, no, no, there isn't. It's actually really frustrating that fragments and bits of this information are online but they're very hard to find. They're all sort of scatters uh, here, there and everywhere. But there's not a central resource which people can go to and actually look at the success or failure of different recruitment campaigns within the NHS so that they can learn from them. And that means that they can save themselves an inordinate amount of time in avoiding mistakes and an inordinate amount of money, especially if you've got to put paid budget towards things like advertising. I should say, however, there is a website out there called nhsemployers.org, which is the central organisation for this sort of thing. But I'll be completely honest with you, most of the information on there is very basic in terms of what it explains in terms of digital marketing. And in complete fairness to them, there has been a very useful case study which has gone up in the last couple of weeks, in fact, about a trust up north and their use of Facebook advertising. So this information is starting to be shared, but 
there's so much more information out there which people could be sharing and so many more useful techniques which people could be learning from. It should be something where there is a lot more of it happening and happening a lot quicker based on the increasing pressures of actually needing to get these people hired. As I said, that's been sort of floating around in my mind for six months and that's about as far as I've got with it. I'm not quite sure what the best approach is to take with that information in that I know I want to do something with it because it seems like a very, something which needs to be fixed. That information between each trust about their recruitment practices could and should be shared because that can save an inordinate amount of money, time, and just general energy and thinking in how the NHS approaches recruitment because God knows they need to employ more people. At this point, it's a case of me opening that question to you guys. If anyone is seeing this and has any information or advice about how to approach that problem, people that I should be speaking to, other websites which might include more information about recruitment processes, then please drop me a line. This isn't something which I'm being paid to do. I've got no financial interest in doing it, but I can see that there is a problem that could be solved. I have had a number of both close friends and family suffer with different mental health problems and DPT in particular has been there for them. So I have a personal vested interest as to why I want to make this work. Recruitment might not be up there with regards to the sort of frontline services that you see in the news day in, day out, but I know that if there is an easier way to cut recruitment costs down in terms of attracting new candidates more effectively, then that can be my way of helping the overall situation. So thanks very much for watching. As I say, drop me a message if you need anything, want to bounce any ideas around, have any advice, it'd be incredibly, incredibly appreciated. Thanks very much.